This video is about testing infrastructure as code. Specifically, it is about performing integration tests once that infrastructure has been deployed. And the platform we will be using for infrastructure as code is Terraform. And we will be using a testing framework known as TerraTest. But in order to make sense of TerraTest, you'll need to know a little bit about Terraform. So the assumption we'll be making here is that you know a little bit about Terraform. Terraform is a great platform for deploying resources, but they don't provide much in the way of testing those resources once they have been deployed. Well, that's where TerraFit, you would start with a build pipeline, a build pipeline that supports the Go programming language, which is the way you write TerraTest modules. And so the way this would work is the build pipeline would issue the Go test commands, and that would trigger all of the TerraTest modules to execute in a given folder which would then trigger TerraTest to start and then do the Terraform commands of init, plan, and apply. Now within that TerraTest module is where you would write your integration tests. TerraTest will provide entry points where you will add your integration tests directly in your TerraTest Go module. So the next question that comes up is how will you communicate with Azure from within the TerraTest Go language module. After all, there's almost an unlimited amount of things that you could be testing. If you only consider testing storage, the diversity of storage mechanisms is significant. You might be communicating with blobs, queues, files, disks. There are SQL and NoSQL solutions with the related databases, including SQL, MySQL, Postgres. There's Cosmos DB. And if you venture outside the space of storage, you get into other technologies that also have significant amounts of testing, such as Azure Bot, Cognitive Services, Machine Learning. If you look at the IoT space, there's IoT Hub, IoT Edge, there's Edge Stream Analytics, there's Time Series Insights. Many of us are creating distributed applications with sophisticated messaging systems, such as Event Grid and Service Bus, Azure Storage Queues, and in the world of serverless, you have Azure Functions. You have the container world with Azure Container Instances, AKS, and Kubernetes. Any decent application will have integration tests for monitoring and alerting services. There's app services with websites you'd want to test, which is the example we'll do here. And there are a litany of tests around configuring the security and properly setting up networking services, such as VPNs, gateways, setting up express route, VNet pairing, subnets, routers, route tables, NAT gateways, firewalls, network security groups, and denial of service protection. Once you venture outside the edge, you've got to think about content delivery networks, traffic manager, load balancers, application gateways. And let's not forget about certificates and secrets management. Let's not forget about Key Vault, where you're going to store those secrets. So I guess the point here is pretty obvious. There are an almost unlimited amount of tests we can be performing, and how exactly do we plan to achieve that from within TerraTest? Normally, we would rely on some type of SDK that would be bundled with TerraTest. So this video is about finding ways to augment the great capabilities that TerraTest provides. Given the breadth of the Azure platform, we will be writing our own Azure REST API test to compensate for any gaps in the platform. Another option is to maybe incorporate the Azure Golang SDK, a library written by Microsoft to support Golang in the world of Azure. But even that world has some limitations. It doesn't cover the entire platform, and it's fairly opinionated. We believe the best answer to perform these type of tests is to leverage the Azure REST API, which is easily accessible from within a Golang application and is something that will be demonstrated here. After all, the Azure REST API is the fundamental pillar for all operations having to do with Azure. In fact, if it can't be done with the Azure REST API, well, it simply cannot be done. Everything builds upon the Azure REST API. And so that's the approach we take, and we believe it offers the most power of all options. There are some tricks to worry about here when they use the REST API. You're going to need to get an authorization bearer token using the Azure REST API and it is somewhat a tricky maneuver. But once you get past that, the Azure REST API is very well documented and makes it simple to do very complex operations across the entire platform. It's also worth mentioning that perhaps it's the most up-to-date of all the approaches 
that are available to communicate with Azure. Our example will go a step beyond the typical Hello World, where TerraTest simply provisions resources using Terraform, and then maybe shows you some of the outputs that came out of the Terraform process, serving as validation for infrastructure getting provisioned. The example we want to demonstrate in this video is the ability to provision resources, in this case, app service resource, to host a website into which we will upload an HTML page and then test the access to that web page.